Hi, I'm here today to show you a different way to cast on. We've done the really simplest way of casting on, but that's also a way where the cast on can be really tight at there. And if you're making a hat or a pair of gloves, you need it to be kind of stretchy so it can go around your head or around your wrist. So we're going to learn a different cast on today. This one's called the knit on cast on, or sometimes it's also called the short tail cast on. All right, so here we go. You're going to start with one needle two needles and you're going to have your yarn right here at the end. The first thing I need on my yarn is a slip knot. So I'm going to have the short end over the cutoff end over here and the long part of my yarn over here right, in my right hand. And I'm going to make a loop just like this. I'm going to make a loop so it makes an X. It makes an X right here. And this part's on top. Yes, this part is on top. And I'm going to tuck that under and through that hole and grab it. And it's going to make a slip knot right like that. Let me do that one more time. So I've got my short end here, and I've got my long end over here, and I'm going to make a loop right here, a loop right there. And this part's on top, right? This piece of yarn is on top. So this is the yarn that I tuck up through the hole. Just stick a little thumb full right through that hole and grab a hold of it. And there we go. So that's my slip knot. I'm going to put that slip knot on my knitting needle. And that is my first stitch of my cast on. Now, with my second needle, I'm going to do a knit on cast on, which is why they call this a knit on, because it's basically just the knit stitch. And it has a short tail, right? There's my short tail. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my needle right through that first stitch, just like always, just like knitting. And I'm going to take my yarn and wrap it around my back needle only, just like knitting. I'm going to give a little tug, like always and pull that stitch through. Now I have two stitches. I'm going to put this stitch right back on over here. Tip to tip. Now I have two stitches. Now this time, instead of going through this first stitch, we're going to go between. Between the stitches. Around the back and in between. Pull it through and put it back on. Again, between my stitches. Wrap my yarn around the back needle like always. Give that little tug. Pull it through. Where's that loop? There it is. Pull that loop right through and put it back on your needles. I'm going to do this till I have 10 because that's how many I need for my headband. One, two, three, four. Excellent. I'm going to go through between my stitches, right there between them this time. All right around the back. I'm going to give a little tug right here. Pull that stitch right through. There it is. And put it back on needle number two. There we go. Sometimes it helps to keep your finger right here so this does not get too tight. It makes it easier to slip it between. Around the back. Pull it through and put it back on. Between the stitches Wrap your yarn, pull it through, put it back on. Between the stitches, wrap your yarn, pull the loop through, put it back on. Between your stitches, wrap your yarn, pull it through, Put it back on. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, good, one more. Find that space in between, right? In between. Wrap around your needle like always. It's basically a knit stitch, right? And then you're going to put it back on. I've got ten. So now I'm ready to start knitting back in the other direction. As always, here's my first stitch, front to back around the back and in between, through the window, slide it off. Same old knit stitch we've always done. So here's the first row. Going back. And this is the beginning of your headband project. This is also the same kind of cast on you want to use if you get to fingerless gloves or if you make those little socks, those slipper socks, that the pattern will be loaded on the website. Here we go. And that's the end.
I'm ready to turn and go back the other way. There's my first row.